Sean Clement here from the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center. Now, this segment, this is as a, a nice little add-on to those of you who at the finish position tend to fall a little bit on your toes or you're falling back a little bit on your heels and you're, you're not able to pinpoint the reason behind this slight out of balance issue, right? And this slight out of balance issue is if you fall on your toes, then you'll tend to shrug the shoulders up. For, so for those of you who feel you're shrugging your shoulders or your arms are not getting their full extension through the shot, right? You're falling on your toes. For those of you who are having trouble clearing your hips to the target, you know, the hips aren't getting through. They can't get out of the way. Well, that's because you are reacting to an out of balance condition that's preventing you from continuing to the target. So let's go back to the perpetual motion drill and let's make sure that the swing as you're swinging perpetually back and through allow the body to get out of the way of the swinging arms the arms are swinging with some nice rhythm and you are emphatically getting out of the way it's not by reducing the amount of, of, of um, range of motion that you're going to have success, right? If you trip, you know, and you fall, well, the next time you go out and walk, you start walking like this because you're preventing yourself from, you know, that nice full rhythm and range of motion. You're not going to walk very well, okay? You probably trip over yourself a lot more often too. So let's look at back and through without stopping. All right, so you notice how I'm allowing my arms to swing in both directions and I am emphatically getting out of the way in both directions. Oh, and by the way, this mat that I'm standing on, realfield.com, right? So I think it's realfieldgolfmat.com. Notice how cushy it is under my feet. It actually feels like I'm on real grass. So the tendency, right, I will really feel my out of balance condition even more on this mat instead of this firm stance mat that we, no that we normally swing on. So I am swinging my arms freely towards the target, right? Well, I should be able to go right back into a perpetual motion swing. So you see the trickery here. When you're swinging back and through without stopping in the perpetual motion swing, you have to be in balance to continue the motion. If you, during the, the movement you lose your balance, well, you cancel the motion, it stops. So if you're able to continue back and through without stopping, we see the central nervous system right now, the brain, it knows that you have to keep going back in each direction, so it will position your body in a very balanced manner to allow you to continue. So, when you get over this ball, think, okay, I'm in my first swing here, then the second swing is through the ball, and then add a third swing after the ball. So if your brain understands that after the shot, it needs to continue in perpetual motion, watch what this does to your balance. So now all of a sudden, here we go. Hey, I'm clearing my hips. All of a sudden, whoa, I'm not shrugging my shoulders anymore because in order for me to continuously swing, I gotta be in balance. And when I'm in balance, I'm not falling forward. Therefore, I'm not reacting to an out of balance condition. So you can go ahead and relax your shoulders and let the arms swing. So try this tip, you'll really enjoy it. And remember, it's rhythm first. Rhythm leads you to the proper timing. The proper timing is the plant before the arms swing through to the target. This is gonna set up proper balance. If you've got good balance in the swing, you will not have any mental hiccups or interruptions in the swing, and you'll be able to continue free and easy. Enjoy.